So we've got our RC shell completed now, it's a one tenth scale, so you get an idea of how much volume of paint we used. It's opaqued out with just the chrome, I didn't use the black, I didn't need to. If I was doing an external paint job, I'd put the black down and then I'd put the chrome over the top. But being internal, we're able to paint the chrome and it opaqued out enough that I can't see through and I can't see the mechanics of the motor vehicle inside. So that means you don't have to use the black for remote control. Now, I use less than 10 mil, so we're going to get more than 12 shells out of one bottle. That equates to less than $3 a shell. That's insane value. Now, when it comes to the candies, you can use, as I use the candy blood red on the front, you can get a multitude of different effects on candies and chrome. It's just insane what you guys can do with this. Now, as far as um, the rest of it's concerned, I wiped this shell down with isopropyl alcohol before I painted it. I know the paint won't come off. Where I sanded it, the chrome, you can see the sanding marks, so don't sand where you're going to use chrome. All the other parts of the body where you're going to use colour, you can sand it, your paint will last longer, but where it's chrome, do not sand it, and as you can see, this is a stunning product straight out the bottle, you get unbelievable coverage, and I reckon you're going to make some money and win some concourse events with these.